Hello and welcome back to Tesla News. My name is Marian and I'm your host today and I'm covering with you some major news coming from Germany, but not only from the sources we have on Twitter from Mr. Merritt, but also from the Brandenburg Minister, Mr. Wojtke. And those two information combined are giving us a pretty good information and timeline we can look at at Giga Berlin. So first of all, Giga Berlin has built about 240 Model Ys so far with another 25 coming this week. Again, those are just test models like in Austin when you're producing for testing. So they are for crash tests, weather, weather toughness, water tightness, um, for example, in Norway and some testing recycling processes in the factory. And some of those already built are being used for internal transportation. So that is what we have seen in recent weeks when we saw Model Y outside. And those Model Y versions were mostly Model Y performance variants, which I told you many times will be the first version of the car. And this has been pretty much proved today again, um, which we will see based on the source Mr. Merritt is talking with. But um, Mr. Wojtke, the minister president of Brandenburg, um, stated that at the beginning of January he expects the final permit to come. So Giga Berlin is working on launching three new paint colors. That is something we knew already, but it just um, proven again that the blue multi coat one is coming, the mercury silver metallic and a deep crimson one. Um, which is looking good as he is saying here. Um, just share with you me your taste if you like those new colors. Furthermore, as I said right uh, a second ago, the Model Y performance will be the first one produced. It is a black and white version and based on the experience with the paint shop, it will go to more colors afterwards. So most expensive version first, Afterwards, Model Y long range as I expected, and this could happen pretty quickly after quality tests. So you do expect that this um, performance variant production is gonna be slowly starting, but the Model Y long range is coming pretty fast afterwards as Tesla had a lot of time to prepare for production as they were waiting for the final permit or as they are still waiting for it to be um, totally correct here. But the Model Y long range is the mass production car that is most interesting model why performance is pretty high and for many people. So not many people can afford to buy a performance variant. So it's very important to consider that there won't be a mass production of the performance variant based on the experience we have from China as well. So Tesla hopes to deliver its first Giga Berlin made cars to customers around mid January. And this is this is what I'm saying here. It is really connecting with the information Mr. Wojtke gave here. So not only it comes from the person working here inside the factory, as I assume, but on the other hand, as well from informations I have here from Germany, from the government. And so um, as well Tobias Lind, somebody who is um, yeah, uh, really informed what is happening there, didn't deny anything. So he has no other information. And Alex Folk, the person who is also really having insights, didn't deny that either. So that is very good news. Um, I do expect it's just a question of time at the beginning to mid January that we see that here. Furthermore, there will be three new colors as mentioned, but with eight total layers. And that is something which will um, further increase the quality of the paint for your car and um, additional coats, um, will, which will really make the colors pop and give them some great depth. Um, furthermore, the mix of the 16 volt and 12 volt batteries. Um, so there will be, I think like the 16 volt one, um, Mr. Mary corrected that later on. What is also important is the battery um, statement here. As mentioned before, the 2170 battery pack will be installed in the Model Y. And later in the year, there will be the new battery pack coming from uh, Giga Berlin. Very important to understand here, my time frame was so far um, mid-2022 because with the permit is the um, battery production included. So as you have that one included, it is um, no more permits are needed after the one in beginning of January. So we do here have the 
Giga Berlin is pretty much ready to rock, but it's just waiting for final approval. Once they do receive the final approval, it is just taking two weeks to ramp up the production of the Model Y performance. So that is the information we needed. Um, I do expect that all the final um, regulators and paperwork will be done till beginning of January or mid of January. And till then Tesla will further work on the battery cell production. And I'm telling you that is almost another three weeks. And this, this building is really getting done pretty quickly here and I must say um, if Austin is managing to do great production with the model Y and the new battery cells I'm really bullish for the Grünheide factory so they can take that experience move it to Grünheide and start right away um, some of the machinery is already here so it is just coming into building this building as quickly as possible and I do really like the speed here and that was not the issue by the way in Grünheide that the speed of construction was not the issue um, right now it is just to 100 percent be sure that there is no way um, to go to court against this project in the future and that is why this takes but to be honest with you I'm really willing to wait till um, mid of January this is going to be a very good start into the new year with Giga Balloon and Austin of course at the same time as I think then the automatic seat heaters are here um, these automatic seat heaters are really taking the um, temperature inside the, the car to adjust the temperature which I really like that is very very good update and you have these um, blind um, camera so the blind spots that you cannot really look into um, you can see now the cameras here you can modify that in your Tesla so that is a really good update too so back to the um, final permit here in Grünheide it it has been a pretty tough time here for Many people arguing if it was the right decision to move to Germany. Just want to tell you again, it is it is the symbol factor here. You're going into really into the place where all these German car makers are. And I think we should um, really move away from the um, hate for a country or move away for the hate of the delays. Every country is different. Every country has its own challenges and Germany has its challenges. China has its challenges and of course as well the United States has its um, challenges as I mentioned yesterday for example selling directly to customers in Texas. So just to make a very small example. So I think we should expect the challenges and accept them of course there are always ways to improve and that is what i'm hoping for my country as well so thank you very much for being here